Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video po, ang gagawin natin is dividing decimals by decimal. So today, magdi-divide po tayo ng decimal numbers sa kapwa nito, decimal numbers. So I have here three examples na gagawin po natin all together. So number one po natin is 31 and 5 hundredths divided by 5 tenths equals n. 23 and 8 tenths divided by 7 tenths is equal to n. 281 and 25 hundredths divided by 2 and 25 hundredths equals n. So, unahin po nating sagutan yung problem number 1. Friends, equation number 1, ang given natin is 31 and 5 hundredths divided by 5 tenths. So, first, i-rewrite po natin ito sa long method form. So, 31 and 5 hundredths divided by yung ating divisor na 5 tenths. So, next na gagawin natin, lagi nating titignan yung ating divisor. So, kapag si divisor may decimal point, kailangan nating i-move sa dulo, okay, si decimal point. So, how many places para mapunta sa dulo? That's one place. Okay, so kung nag-move po tayo ng one place dito sa ating divisor, mag-move din tayo ng one place sa ating dividend. So, si... 31.05, yung decimal point niya nasa gitna, tama? So, hindi na tayo mag a sa dulo. Dito na tayo mag-start sa gitna kung nasan si decimal point. So, mula sa decimal point niya, one movement. So, one movement din tayo to the right. Okay? So, mapupunta dito ang ating decimal point. And since magdi-divide tayo, copy natin sa tapat niya sa taas. Okay? So, sundan po natin ha. So, next po na gagawin natin, pwede na natin i-rewrite. Okay, so we now have 310.5 divided by 0, 0.5. Tapos, nandito na yung decimal point, right? Ayan, we move natin. So, 0, 0.5 point. So, ang basa lang naman dyan, kapag binasa natin ay 5. So, tatanggalin na natin si decimal point at yung 0 para hindi na tayo malito. Pag marami kasing digits, nakakalito. Okay, so 5 na lang siya. Okay, next. Let us move the decimal point dito sa tapat. Okay, then let us now proceed to division. 3 divided by 5 cannot be, so gagamitin natin yung 2 digits. 31 divided by 5, that is 6. 6 times 5, that's 30. 31 minus 30 is 1. Bring down 0. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus, that's 0. May hindi pa tayo nagagamit yung 5. So, bring down 5. 5 divided by 5. Okay, sa tapat dito. Kasi ito yung ginamit natin, no? yung bring down 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract. So, again, hindi natin ilalagay ang X kasi sa Roman numerals, ang X ay may katumbas na value at ang X ay 10. So, kapag 5 minus 5, ang ilalagay natin ay 0. Okay? Kasi sa iba, X po yung nilalagay. Okay? So, ito na po yung ating final answer. Okay? So, how do we know if our answer is correct? Diba yung opposite ng division? Diba? That's multiplication. So, again, in checking, if our answer is correct, we will just multiply our quotient, yung sagot natin, 62.1 by our divisor times 5. Okay, so 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, carry 1, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1, 31. Ilang place? One place. So, mula sa dulo, move tayo ng one place to the left. So, our final answer is 310.5. Okay, so, ang sagot po natin dito is 310 and 510. So, same siya sa ating, uh, dito, sa ating original dividend. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot po natin ay correct.
Next example po natin, 23 and 8 tenths divided by 7 tenths. So, again, ano nga po yung una natin gagawin? Okay, we need to rewrite, okay, the given numbers in long method form. So, 23.8 divided by 0.7. Next na gagawin? Yes, tanggalin natin yung decimal point sa ating divisor at inilipat natin sa dulo. So, ilang movement? Isa. Kasi isa lang naman yung digit para makarating sa dulo. So, nag-move tayo ng isa. So, sa dividend natin, kung ilan yung minove natin dito, ganun din dito. Nasaan si decimal point? Nandito. So, mula dito, mag-move na rin tayo ng isa. Okay? Next na gagawin po natin, Rewrite na natin ang ating given numbers. Okay, so this will become 238 divided by 7. So, natanggal na yung decimal point kasi napunta na sa mga dulo. So, kung dulo, hindi na po natin sinusulat kasi wala naman ng kasunod na number, whole number. So, pwede na tayo mag-divide. So, 2 divided by 7 cannot be. So, gagamitin po natin ay 23. 23 divided by 7 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. Minus 23 minus 21, 2. Bring down 8. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 minus 28 is 0. Meron pa po ba tayong i-bring down? Wala na. So, our answer here is 34. Okay, so let us now proceed to checking. Tingnan natin kung tama ba yung naging sagot natin. So, ano yung quotient natin? 34. Kabaligtara ng division, multiplication. Then, ano yung divisor? 7. 34 times 7. So, 4 times 7 is 28, carry 2. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2, that's 23. So, dahil pareho sa ating original dividend, ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot po natin ay correct. So, kapag dito, iba yung naging sagot. Kapag hindi katulad nito ang sagot, ibig sabihin, mali yung quotient natin. So, we need to solve again. Okay, but this time, tama po ito. The last example, we have 281 and 25 hundredths divided by 2 and 25 hundredths equals n. So, ano nga po yung una natin gagawin? So, kung may mga papel at ballpen kayo sa bahay, try nyong sagutan ito. Okay, sundan natin para makita natin kung talagang nasusundan natin yung lesson. So, let us rewrite in long method form ng division. So, 281.25 divided by 2.25. Okay, so again, mag-move tayo ng decimal point. Lagi natin titignan si divisor. So, ilang movement para mapunta sa dulo? 1 unit, 2 units. Okay, so 2 movements. So, kung 2 movements dito, 2 movements din dito. So, mula sa decimal point, 2 movements. 1, 2. So, napunta na rin sa dulo. So, rewrite natin. So, 2, 8, 1, 2, 5 divided by 225. Okay, so let us now divide 3 digits. So, 3 digits, 2, 8, 1. Kaya. 2, 8, 1 divided by 2, 2, 5, 1. So, class, itatapat natin lagi yung sagot natin sa digit, sa huling digit na ginagamit natin. So, 2, 8, 1. 1 yung ginamit natin huli, kaya sa tapat niya yung sagot natin. 1 times 2, 2, 5. 2, 2, 5. 2, 8, 1, minus 2, 2, 5. So, 1 minus 5 cannot be. We need to borrow 1 from 8. So, 8 will become 7. 1 will become 11. 11 minus 5 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. 
Okay, so the answer is 56. Bring down 2. 562, ilang 225 ang kasha? Dalawa. 2 times 225, that's 450. Subtract. 2 minus 0, 2. 6 minus 5, 1. 5 minus 4, 1. Okay, walang katapat si 0, bring down 0. Okay? So, meron pa ba tayong hindi nagagamit sa 28125? Yes, meron pa. Yun yung number 5. So, we need to bring down 5. Okay, so ilang 225 ang kasha kay 1125? So, kapag minultiply natin si 225, okay, mararating natin si 1125 sa panglima. Okay, and 5 times 225 ay eksaktong 1125. Okay, so subtract the answer is 0. So, wala na tayong ibibring down, right? So, this is now our answer. So, let us check if our answer is correct. So, let's do checking. So, again, let's multiply our quotient and our divisor. So, 1, 2, 5 times 2, 2, 5. Ayan. So, 5 times 5, 25. Carry 2, 5 times 2, 10 plus 2, 12. Carry 1, 5 times 1, 5 plus 1, 6. 2 times 5, 10. Carry 1, 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry 1, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. 2 times 2 is 2. Okay, so let us now add. Bring down 5, bring down 2. 6 plus 5 plus 0 is 11. Carry 1, 8, 2. So, pareho ba? 2, 8, 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 5. 2, 8, 1, 2, 5. Okay, so dahil pareho ito at ito, so the, our final answer is 125. And that is correct. Okay, so I hope class meron ulit tayong natutunan sa ating lesson ngayong araw na to. So mag-aral ng mabuti. At mag-practice sa bahay kung paano mag-solve ng iba't ibang mathematical equations. Thank you so much for watching!